Affinity Photo and Photo P are two of the most commonly recommended Photoshop replacements. In this video, we're going to be running through the pros and cons of each app and finding out which one is really the better Photoshop replacement. Let's start with price. Currently, Affinity is on promo, costing $35, down 50% from its usual $70 subscription free price. For this purchase, you can install Affinity Photo in as many devices, which is supported by the platform. An amazing bargain. However, do note that Affinity Photo's license is platform specific, meaning if you need Affinity Photo for both Mac and Windows, you need to pay for two licenses, one for Mac and one for Windows, which will increase the cost. Photopy, on the other hand, is totally free. It earns its money via ads which appear on the sidebar. If you want to get rid of the ads, you can pay for the premium service which costs around $5 a month. And that will also include some useful AI tools we will be discussing later in the video. So when it comes to pricing, Photop is definitely the winner over Affinity Photo. Next, let's move on to raw editing. Affinity is known for its solid raw processing with its powerful develop persona module. As you can see, its shadows, highlights, and other tone adjustments do a solid job of revealing details and producing pleasing results without ugly artifacts. Its clarity adjustment is also best in class, incorrectly increasing local contrast and making an image pop. Photo B, on the other hand, is not nearly as good. As you can see, even its basic shadow adjustment produces obvious halos which degrade the quality of the image. Same goes for its highlights adjustment. Its clarity adjustment also overly darkens the edges, not enhancing the local contrast correctly, which produces subpar results. To top it off, Photo P's raw interface is very sluggish. So when it comes to raw editing, I would give the win to Affinity Photo. Next, let's move on to selection tools. Both Affinity Photo and Photo P provide a wide array of selection tools. Looking at Affinity Photo first, Affinity Photo's selection brush is extremely reliable in detecting edges swiftly and accurately. As you can see, for this basic image, the selection brush made no errors and needed no further refinement. Affinity also handles complex edges very well with its powerful refined brush. Notice as I try to remove the sky in this image, you can see that I had no issue handling the complicated edges in the trees. Photopiece tool, on the other hand, is not as accurate. You can see in this example, as I try to select with the quick selection tool, which is the equivalent of Affinity's selection brush. Despite the subject and background being clearly distinct from one another, the tool fails to make a perfect selection and clear errors are present. To fix this, I'll use Photopiece polygonal selection tool. There, the problem is fixed, but it took more steps than Affinity. When it comes to complex edges, Photop supports a similar tool to Affinity's refined brush named Refine Edge, although it is not as accurate nor as intuitive. To demonstrate this, let's once again try to remove the sky in this image. For the initial selection, I'll use Photop's object selection tool. Once again, you can see the lack of accuracy in the selection, even though the tree is pretty distinct from the sky. To fix the errors, I'll click the Refine Edges button. This brings me to the tool's interface, which works as follows. To remove from the selection, I'll paint black. To add to the selection, I'll paint white. To handle complex edges, 
I'll paint gray on the borders. So as you can see, while Photo P did a good job, it took far more steps than Affinity Photo. So when it comes to conventional selection tools, I'll give the win once again to Affinity Photo. Next, let's move on to automatic selections. While Affinity Photo beats Photo P in conventional selection tools, Photo P turns the tables when it comes to automatic selections. Photo P features a select subject tool, which as in other photo editors, is able to produce high quality selections with just one click. And it even works on subjects with difficult hair or fur. Here is a sampling of its abilities. As you can see, tasks which would be very time consuming is made so much easier with the select subject feature. Do note, however, that this feature is not a free lunch. The select subject feature is only available when you sign on to the premium service, which as mentioned, costs $5 a month. As a reminder, Affinity Photo has no select subject tool or any AI tool to speak of. Next, let's move on to Generative AI. Another tool where Photo P outclasses Affinity Photo is in its Generative AI tools. Photo P puts Affinity to shame with its Magic Replace tool, which similar to Adobe's Generative Fill, allows you to create or replace images by typing on a prompt. It also features the ability to remove objects similar to Adobe's Generative Remove, which works pretty well and for which Affinity has no equivalent. So that's Generative AI. Let's move on to other features. When it comes to core features, both Affinity Photo and Photopy contain a similar feature set. Both have channels, remove tools, text tools, adjustment layers, etc., etc. Affinity Photo, though, goes a step further in its ability to do HDR merging, focus stacking, and panorama stitching. It also has a powerful luminosity mask, which I've frequently demonstrated on this channel. Photopy, on the other hand, as it is a browser-based application, offers convenience in that it does not need to be installed to be used. Simply type the URL and you're ready to go. Better yet, it can work on any platform, Mac, Windows, Linux, Chrome OS, which supports a browser. So that is a quick comparison of Affinity Photo and Photopy. As you can see, both applications are powerful tools in their own right with its own set of advantages and disadvantages. But which one is the better Photoshop replacement? In my tests, despite the higher price, I would say that Affinity Photo is the better Photoshop replacement. Its interface and navigation is faster and smoother as it is a desktop app rather than a browser. I also like the accuracy and speed of its selection brush and refined brush, which are far more intuitive and responsive than Photopea's counterpart tools. That being said, if price is a concern or you need the power of one-click subject selections or generative AI, then I would heartily recommend Photopea. Affinity lacks the features to match those set of capabilities. So I hope you found this video helpful. Let me know which one you prefer, Affinity Photo or Photop. Write it down in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. And if you like this content, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share to help keep the videos coming. Until the next video, I'm going to see you in the next one. Bye for now.